Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to give you a complete knowledge about Google authentication, I mean Google sign in and sign out and also I'm going to maintain a login till user get logout, okay and also I'm going to explain how to use routing, yeah let's start, this is the example, I'm going to develop the same, okay yeah first I'm going to click this sign in with Google, here I used sign in with pop up, okay here I'm going to choose this email id, after I choose email here I got dashboard here I user is logged in if I reload or uh, if I open this URL in the new tab means still the user is logged in okay if I click log out yeah now the user is log out okay and if I open this URL in new tab user is logged out okay yeah we'll start here I already created a react project and also I am running this project yeah these are all topic I am going to cover in this video yeah let's start first I am continue with the react routing ok I am going to remove this here first I am going to install a react router dom package ok react router dom this one go here and copy this install this okay in my case i already installed okay i'm going to add a browser route it is imported here i'm going to close this after that i'm going to use routes inside routes i'm going to create route routes and routes imported here after that i'm going to give a path initially i'm going to give a slash element before that I need to create a component one is for a login here or a C and click enter this is login page here I'm going to do a Google authentication after that I need to display home login okay or a home page dot js here drop c click enter yeah, here i created these two components here i want to display a login component when the page is loaded okay yeah, i'm going to close this as well after that this is home this is home page yeah this component okay now the routing is completed yeah go to browser Initially, I got login screen because we displayed login screen when the page is load. After that, I'm going to type this home slash home and click enter. Here, home page is displaying. First one is completed. I'm going to work on the Firebase connection. Okay. So, first, I'm going to open a Firebase. Click this here. Make sure to log in with your email ID. After that, click get started. I'm going to add a new project here. I'm going to give Google Auth and yeah, check this confirm and click continue and yeah, again continue. Here, I'm going to choose a default account and create a project. Yeah, click continue. Project is ready. Here, here I'm going to connect this Firebase into my React project. So I need to click this web. Here you can give any name. Here, here I'm going to give Google Authentication. Click register app. Copy this and you need to install this firebase dot i mean firebase npm package after that copy this entire code go to your project click i mean create one config file dot js and click and, and paste entire code here and till our firebase npm is installing 
after that click continue to console now firebase project is ready we have connected our firebase to our project we need to use authentication here inside build click this authentication here click get started here i am going to use this google provider okay here they provide apple facebook or many providers okay here i am going to use only google so here click enable and choose this this is my firebase email id and click this save yeah now firebase is firebase authentication is enabled yeah um here firebase is installed i'm going to run this project here i don't want this analytics so i'm going to remove this and this too here i'm going to create const auth here get auth before that i need to import this get auth after this import get auth from firebase slash auth now we imported that we need to pass this app here after that we want to add a provider new here i'm going to use google auth provider okay google auth provider yeah it is imported here after that i'm going to export this auth and this provider okay save this successfully we connected our firebase project into our website i'm going to work on the google sign up okay so go to login screen here i'm going to remove this here i'm going to add a button google google sign up okay here i'm going to create one on click and double click copy this after this const here inside this function i want to use sign in with redirect okay method okay with sorry sign in with pop up i want to use this sign in with pop up method here i need to pass auth it is imported here because we exported sorry here we exported this auth and provider here auth is our firebase connection credentials and provider is google okay we need to pass this inside this login okay here after that this provider we need to import that too here i am going to use then method here test or user okay or uh, I, i am using test here i am going to console the user i mean press user data after that i am going to add a catch flag to here i am going to get the error here i just console this error okay now i save this go to browser here i got this button if i click this before that i need to inspect go to console yeah here i'm going to click this i'm going to choose this email id why get this what's origin to close this and refresh this again I want to click this button yeah we already chose email id that's why this time we get a response from the google yeah this is our email id we already logged in because here go to users here our email id is added that's why we get a response here okay now 
if i get this response i need to navigate to home screen right so i want to use use navigate it is also a react router dom inbuilt function it is used to navigate to next screen okay const navigate here copy this if i get this user data i want to navigate to home save this here i'm going to refresh the screen still we are in the same screen i'm going to click this sign up here you get a response yeah it's navigate to home screen right here i logged in to the home screen if i open this same tab i mean local host in new tab i get the sign in screen again but i already logged in okay in this case i need to log in to the home screen so i want to manage that so after this i want to add a user fact here auth dot on auth state changed okay here i get the logged in users data okay if i logged in already logged in means i get a response from the firebase okay in that case we don't want to click the sign up button okay here i get the or uh, here user data okay here to console this user data and also as i console this and go here i click and inspect go to console Here, refresh the screen. Yeah, I get a response from the Firebase. In that case, if I get this, I mean, I get this response means here I'm going to check user data dot email. Yeah, here I'm going to add a question mark because some case Firebase will not return a email ID. In that case, email will get error because undefined. Okay, so. That's why I added this question mark here. If I get the user email and I want to navigate to again home screen, okay? Here and save this. And yeah, here it's navigate to home screen. Here I want to load the same page. Here, yeah, it's navigate to home screen, right? Yeah, I want to add a logout button here. Okay, here I need to save this. Yeah, this one is completed. Connection is also completed. Google authentication is completed. Yeah, this data maintenance is also completed. Finally, I'm going to work on this logout. So go to home screen. Here, I'm going to add a sorry. I'm going to add a button here. Push that button. This is log out. Here, on click. And it'll click, and it'll log out. Copy this function. After that, I'm going to create a const. Paste that here. Here, I'm going to use sign out. This is also a Firebase inbuilt function. Okay, it is imported here. Here, I'm going to pass this auth and dot then i'm going to before that here i need to navigate to home screen if i user clicks this logout so i need to use use navigate it is used to navigate to next or previous screen okay here const this is navigate copy this and paste it here in that case i'm going to navigate to home screen i mean sorry login screen yeah after that dot catch error i'm going to console this error okay if any case i will get error in that case page will not break if i add this catch block otherwise i will get a red screen or anything some error will print in the screen that's why i added this catch block okay and so this go here here i got a logout if i click logout yeah it's back to login screen if i open this in new tab 
till I get a sign up button. Okay, it's working fine. If I get, hi, sorry, if I, yeah, I already logged in. That's why it does not show that. Here, I'm going to click this login button. Yeah, still it's not asking me to choose an email because this user is, I mean, this user data is already exist in the Firebase. That's why it's not asking to choose an email. Okay, yeah, here it's logged in. If I open this in new tab, yeah, here still I logged in, right? And I get a user data too. If I refresh the screen, here I didn't get any user data because I printed the user data in the login screen that's why it's not I mean, we didn't get a user data in the home screen okay if you want uh, user data means you can copy this code and I mean copy this user effect go to home screen here after this add this and I need to import this user effect in that case, I don't want to navigate to home screen because I already in the home screen. Here I just console this user data. Okay. User data. And save this. Go here. Here. Refresh the screen. Yeah. Here I get a user data. You can use this user data. And yeah. This is what I tried to tell in this video. I think this video will help you. Bye bye.